On a recent trip to Cincinnati, we checked out Jungle Jim's International Store in search of... Oh, there's wine. Very nice. Might get a bottle. Uh, but we went in search of British food items, uh, many of which are featured at this very store, which also features uh, food from just about... Ed that's a night. What's he doing? Get, get him out of the way. He should be in the British section. But it features food from all around the world, basically. You've got Italy, South Africa. I mean, you've got all of the countries. There are about 200 of them. Uh, not all of the countries. There's no North Korean. Uh, but there is Eastern European food. You can get plenty of uh, the uh, uh, dry uh, potato type stuff they do. I I'm making things up. Uh, but we didn't come here for the Eastern European food. This is the British section then at uh, Jungle Gyms, and uh, this is just the tea area. Uh, there's plenty more on offer as well, as we'll get to in just a moment. Um, not really a tea drinker, but I thought I'd showcase this because I know a lot of you weirdos are. Um, just look at all this behind me and around. Lots of tea. Not too much tea, in my opinion. Um, but that's up to you. you can keep... No, it's not good. It's all right. Coffee's better. I know that's treacherous to exactly to the rest Coffee's of my too. compatriots. Why, why does it have to be either or? It, it just does. It's, 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 it's taste. It's a matter of taste. And speaking of taste, uh, here's, the, uh, here's where the real magic is, is uh, all of the British chocolate. So we've got the arrows right behind me. You can get them just about anywhere actually. Um, but, as we get closer, we've got the uh, Milky Bars. Look at all this. It's just paradise to anybody that understands life and just good decision making. As I do. There indeed is my favourite chocolate bar of all time. So, followed closely by Whispers. So my trolley by the end of this is going to be insane as is the bill that comes with it. This is not cheap, I should make that clear. Uh, they do bump up the prices because of, you know, exportation and all that. Um, and then here, we've got sort of canned foods. Look at this. You've got all your vinegars, you've got your Marmite there, for anybody that loves it. That's 50% of the people do, and 50% don't. And then just pickled shit. So I'd love to say that that's it, but it's not. There's more around the other side, so that's where I'm going now. Excuse me. Thank you. Get around here. We share this section with the Australians. They've got their own aisle. They've only got one aisle. Bit, bit unfair, that. Uh, we actually take up some of that aisle. Um, it's kind of like real geopolitics in many ways, that. Um, but here are the biscuits, actual biscuits, not uh, bread rolls or whatever you call them, scones, just lots on offer. Look at that, chocolate fingers, I'd shove them in my mouth, nowhere else. Um, Do you want some of these? Maybe. Which I'll th think about what I want in a sec. Okay, I have to pee, so... All right. Where's the bathroom? It's up that way near Netherlands.
Why, hello there. This episode of Finding America was funded in its entirety by our patrons at patreon.com slash lost in the pond. So if you would like to see me visit your state and make an episode about it, why not pledge yourself? You can do so by clicking this button right here. Yeah, there, we'll put it there. Or by going to patreon.com slash lost in the pond. Who knows? Your city or state could be next. Thank you. <laughs>